Good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you're seeing this and happy new year. I wanted to share with my friends um, and family uh, via this portal, Facebook at this time, a ministry that the Lord has been really brewing in my heart probably for a couple of years, actually a few years, um, and has really been brought to the forefront with all that's happening with COVID and the pandemic that we experienced in 2020 and will likely be experiencing for a little bit longer. Um, my heart has been for a long time heavily burdened for educators. Um, as many of you know, I grew up with a teacher in a teacher family and I married a teacher and a coach. And in my extended family, I would say probably 50%, if not more, are teachers or coaches or are in the public schools in some capacity, which has lent itself to being more sensitive to what they experience and undergo on a daily basis. And I started thinking about how a lot of us are sent into ministry in some capacity and there are people that are sent to Africa, um, Uganda, there's people that are sent to South America for ministry. There's people that are um, in the linguistic side of ministry and the purpose of all of that is to bring Jesus to people that need Jesus. And I can't help but think that educators all over the world, but especially in the United States, are on the front line of ministry because they have an opportunity to bring Jesus to children, to the least of these, every single day. And we've seen it happen in our own household, the opportunities that arise. And I know that other educators are experiencing those opportunities as well, but they're also experiencing the heavy burden that lays on educators and teachers and paras and administrators in this day and age um, where we are today with a pandemic, but even before the pandemic, when things were extremely difficult um, for teachers and they're leaving in droves because the burden is just too heavy to bear. And so what the Lord put on my heart was a way to connect teachers, educators, in the public schools, those who are called to the marketplace with prayer partners, people who are saying, I want to stand in the gap for a teacher. I want to be committed to praying for them on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, however the spirit leads, and hopefully bring the spirit's um, guidance, the spirit's help, the spirit's um lifting of that burden to that teacher so that they can minister because that's really what they're called to do. They've been called to the classroom because they've been called to ministry. And so we want to equip them for that. I want to equip them for that. And I believe that there's others that are out there that would like to do that as well. So the purpose of this is to, is for that exactly, to connect the two. We want to connect a teacher, an educator with a prayer partner and just allow a prayer ministry to flourish. And then if the spirit leads it elsewhere, if the spirit does other things with it, that would be awesome. And it might be small, it might be big. I, I know the need is out there. My biggest concern is that um, teachers won't reach out and ask for prayer. And so the way we've designed it is that you actually don't have to give many identifiers. I'm asking for just two identifiers. If you're not comfortable giving your name or you're not comfortable giving your location or something like that, you can just give us two identifiers so that the prayer partner knows something that they can pray for. Obviously, the more information you give, the more equipped your prayer partner is to pray for you. But at the same time, the spirit is not stopped because we don't know your name. The spirit is not stopped because we don't know where you are. You will be prayed for. And that is really the goal of the ministry. So I hope that 
this lands on soft ears and soft hearts who are ready for um, just what this could do, what this could do it, for teachers. Um, we're, we're not going to be in the schools. We're not going to be advertising. This is a private thing for teachers to be uh, equipped spiritually outside of the classroom for their call to ministry. And for those who have a heart and a burden for educators to be connected in a way that they can pray specifically for this area of ministry. Thanks for listening. Have a happy new year. And I look forward to what the Lord will do with this. Bye.